morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and welcome to Global Atheist News Bulletin. From now on, we propose to do several short reports throughout the week and compile them into the weekly show that goes out on Saturdays. Today, the spotlight is on UK religious news. The Church of England is facing the breakup of the Global Anglican Communion following its vote on same-sex blessings. On February the 18th, sources close to the Conservative Global South Fellowship of Anglican Churches, which represents churches on every continent and the majority of Anglicans worldwide, said that they fully expect the organisation to formally disassociate from both the Archbishop of Canterbury and the Church of England. Their warning comes after the General Synod, the Church's lawmaking body, this month voted in favour of offering blessings to lesbian and gay couples who have already been married or had a civil partnership. That vote angered both progressives who claim that it does not go far enough to offer full equality because the church still prohibits same-sex marriages and conservatives who claim that holy matrimony should only be between a man and a woman. See this video. I suppose I'm hopeful. What I recognise is in the passing of the motion there will be some that um, will be uh, very relieved, there are others that will be feel very hurt. So uh, so I, I, it's a sort of mixed view. We need to um, care for each other. I think one of the things we have learnt is that there is difference and there is different agreement, but we're seeking to walk well together. We are divided on this as a church, and those divisions run deep. And, and the church is, you know, we're not an organisation, we're, we're a community, we're a family, we're a household, and it's, it's very painful when there's disagreement. So, although I am pleased about the decisions we've made, I, I suppose I'm not feeling joyful because um, I'm concerned for my sisters and brothers for whom this is going to be very difficult. By the 20th of February... Archbishops representing 10 of the 42 provinces in the Anglican Communion had signed a statement saying that they no longer considered Mr Justin Welby to be leader of the Global Communion. They added that the Church of England was disqualified as their historic mother church and this is the first time that the Archbishop of Canterbury's leadership has been rejected by such a large group of churches. Since its formation in 1867, the incumbent Archbishop of Canterbury has taken the role of spiritual leader of the Anglican Communion, which is a global fellowship of 42 Anglican churches. He has no formal power. Instead, he has moral authority and is seen as the first among equals. Following the shock resignation of First Minister of Scotland Nicola Sturgeon, candidates for the post have been lining up. One Scottish Nationalist Party leadership contender, Finance Secretary Kate Forbes, has denied that her campaign has been derailed by comments on gay marriage. Some of her key backers have withdrawn their support after she said she would have voted against equal marriage laws. 
Ms Forbes, a member of the Free Church of Scotland, has also said that having children outside of marriage is wrong according to her faith. She said people want politicians to give straight answers. The Sky Lockerbur and Badenoch MSP has also said she would not seek to overturn gay marriage laws if she does succeed Nicola Sturgeon as Scotland's First Minister and has apologised for any pain her comments have caused. Thank you for watching this Global Atheist News short.